Hi, my name is Alex. I have argued enough for a lifetime. Sit back, relax and listen. Let your brain pick up stuff along the way, or not. But I do hope you'll stay with me to the end, and of course, subscribe and hit the bell. I'll continue making content for as long as at least some people watch it. It's fun, you know. You have to love science sometimes. People still seem to miss the good old glory days where major discoveries like DNA or quantum physics ruled the science news cycle. Nowadays, science moves in more incremental steps. Particle by particle, you may say, towards a goal that has not diminished. Understanding nature. But we can go way back with this. Imagine people discovering fire. I have no idea how it happened. Perhaps a lightning struck something flammable or volcanoes had a part in it. Quite probably, it happened several times in several places too. But ask yourself this. What does somebody who has witnessed the event do with the fire caused by a lightning or a lava flow? Take the meat from the last kill out of the bag and cook a nice steak while the fire lasts. There needs to be something more to it. There needs to be someone making more discoveries. There needs to be someone understanding that cooked food is less likely to go foul and probably tastes better too. There needs to be someone curious enough to wonder how to get that fire into the cave to warm the cave up. Curiosity. Now there's a thought. Most people are, in my opinion, not just curious, but inquisitive to the point of fault. As the kid of outsiders growing up in a little southern German village, I know all about curiosity. It's a weird thought to think that the affairs of the neighbor are more interesting to most people than exploring the universe. Don't understand me wrong. As indicated already, science today works a little different too. Today we test ideas we had beforehand much, much more. It doesn't always start with a proper observation of some kind. We try to see whether our ideas are right with the help of experiments. We do make discoveries, but none of these is like the discovery of fire. And of course, trying to prove things right instead of wrong can lead you astray. It's a pity that nothing is like the discovery of fire anymore, isn't it? Why do we no longer make discoveries on the same scale that we used to? Do we know everything there is to know? Are we really just developing technology from now on? I can't even imagine believing that this is the case. Sure, there's a lot we do know, but for as long as we stay where we are, we won't discover fire again. And here, is Earth, about the tiniest dot imaginable in this universe. So we need to go to space as a species. We need to develop as a society. And we need to travel as an individual. Brian Cox once stood on the TED stage and answered the following question. Why do we need explorers? The link to that talk is below, of course. But I mean, seriously? I'm curious about something. Why do I even feel the need to record this piece? Why do I believe Brian Cox's answer will fall on many deaf ears, especially with those who could do something about it? If there is one stupid question in this world, then it is, why do we need explorers?